Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This is Gary GZ Duels. Here to bring you guys a duel uh, between my Dragoonities and my opponent who's playing some gadgets. And for the purpose of this duel, I want to analyze how I duel and analyze my opponent's hand uh, based off of the decisions that he makes. So the first decision he makes is to summon Machina Gear Frame in order to search Machina Cannon. What this tells me as his opponent is, since he searched for the cannon, he must have already have a uh, Machina Fortress in his hand, or else there would be no reason why not to search out the Fortress, because Fortress is really, really good. And so uh, that's why he searched out uh, Cannon. So of his starting six cards, I know that he has, sorry, the six cards in his hand, I know that he has a Machina Fortress and a Machina Cannon. So in order to play around that, I decided that I'm going to go for a combo for, for which I will end with a uh, Crimson Blader, because Crimson Blader, when he destroys Machina Gearframe by battle, I will be able to prevent the special summoning of his fortress and cause his cannon to be dead in his hand as well. But unfortunately, my opponent played Valor, something that I couldn't calculate because, you know, you, you can't just know uh, he has the hand traps. But regardless, I still have a backup. I can still use Mistletane to go over to tribute the um, ducks and then use the Mistletane's effect to go for... Um, the rank at uh, the level 8 uh, synchro monster but at this point since i do have tempest i'm going to use tempest's effect in order to search for another mistletane so that i can use mistletane's effect again so that i can do more than just a uh, single uh, syn level 8 synchro monster i can do something like um a ptolemy's m7 and a uh crimson blader but um it's kind of risky because at this point i am trying to overextend a bit trying to do as much damage as possible uh you know if he has a dark hole um then i will be in a pretty tough situation unless he has something to do but uh, i calculated also that you know from uh from the Crimson Blader's effect, he will have two dead cards in his hand, and he couldn't. He could. He would not be able to special summon Redox if he has it. He would only be able to do things like search with a Gear Frame or a um, or, or like a uh, Gear Frame or like a gadget. Or if he gets really tricky, then he'll have like you know Tim Play Goldfish to go for you know two searches. But other than that, you know he can't special summon out his fortress so i decided i'm going to overextend try to summon ptolemy's m7 so that because i don't know three cards in his current five card hand uh four cards next turn because he draws into a new one uh it is very likely that he'll set back row and for that if he doesn't have dark hole then i can use the mst to destroy his one of his back row like maybe two he'll set one of his back row during his end phase and during my main phase i can use ptolemy's m7's effect in order to bounce back the other back row and clear it away for direct attacks and lo and behold he draws into dark hole so i you know i overextended i made the risk and my risk did not pay off but regardless like i said crimson blader did lock down his plays in his hand so you can otk me if you wanted to so he normal summon of the gadgets and set a back row so during the end phase i'll destroy the back row which was a ultimate offering and now i know from the four cards in his hand since he did search with the yellow gadget he will have a green gadget in his hand a machina cannon in his hand and a machina fortress in his hand he only has one card uh which i don't know the identity uh, of which I don't know the identity, but I'm pretty sure it's not a Gors or a Trag because he would have used it. Because, um, you know, he would have used it. Uh, if it's a Max E, he would have used it. So I feel sufficiently safe in order to try to OTK him this turn. Since I don't have another Crimson Blader, I want to get rid of him before he can have an opportunity to retaliate with his Machina Fortress. So for that, I'm going to special summon out a Scrap Dragon using my Ducks and my Phalanxes. And then I'm going to use the... Uh, Dragon Ruler Tempest effect in order to special summon itself from the graveyard and do a total damage of uh, 5,200, which would be enough to kill my opponent. If provided that his last card, the uh, the card that I don't know what it is, um, is not like something like Swift Scarecrow or whatever to block me. So he surrenders, thus proving that the last card he had wasn't something sufficient to stop my OTK. And so just to show you guys my analysis, as you guys can see, he did have a Machina Fortress. That's why he searched Machina Cannon. Um, somehow he didn't set the uh, ultimate offering first turn. You know, uh, I would have done that so that I could go for my gadget OTK the next turn, but unfortunately I did have the MST, so you know that's just like a canceling out. And my opponent had that, that card that I didn't know was a uh, pot of avarice, and I wouldn't have known it because he didn't have enough resources in the graveyard to recycle. So therefore I know all of his cards 
except for that part of avarice and I made all of my decisions accordingly. And what's interesting is he didn't have the dark hole in the first turn, he actually top decked the dark hole so it was really lucky and really sacky for him but still I used skill and I used calculation and I was able to win. So I hope you guys enjoyed this duel, this is Gary GZ Duels signing out.